going on guys? Brian Nelson here and I'm heading out to um, some fun adventure and I'm going to do a real fun test for you. So it's going to be the GoPro Hero 8 versus this 4 star 4K $20 Amazon knockoff. So this should be a really fun test. We're going to do some really fun adventure and see how these two stack up against each other. So let's go. What's up man? <laughs> Where are we going today? We're going to the soups. Where at? Uh. All right, so he's pretty sparse on details, but uh, we're gonna go somewhere pretty rad. We're almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. There. We're going up there. Woo. Yeah, so we just hiked all the way up from there, about a quarter mile. I was trying to do tests with the GoPro and the knockoff GoPro. The knockoff GoPro seems to be locking up on me, which is awesome. So, so far winter, GoPro, one point. It actually records. <sighs> I'm out of breath. All right, so I don't know what's going on with this knockoff GoPro, but every time I try to record on it, it is locking up and not recording. So everything worked in the studio before I left. So every time I hit record. Oh, now it's recording. Now you want to work. Okay. So I don't know what's going on there. So let's stop. Hit record again. Okay, now it's wanting to work. So <clears throat> turn this on. I was trying to do a stabilization test on the way up, but that was not working and this was locking up and giving me SD card error, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know, we'll get it figured out. Uh, I'm about to get in some water, so the audio is gonna get a little bit worse because I've gotta pack all my audio gear away. But this is looking pretty rad, so hopefully we get some cool shots, get some uh, good testing going on here, and uh, let's get to it. So I gotta, I gotta get rid of this. Sorry guys, later. It's uh, the audio, the good audio is going away. Stop. Check out this cool little geode. You said that's a new nice. Oh, yeah, that's Wait, how far is that? 70 feet. All right, well, since I'm on mic right now, it seems like a good time to do a mic test on both of these cameras. This is the GoPro Hero 8, which I imagine is sounding actually pretty good because the 7, the microphone in that one was pretty darn good, and I expect this one to be just as good. This is this audio, and we got a little bit of wind, so how's that sounding? Well, this is awkward. Yeah. Woo. That's exciting. Cool. Off rope. bit of dynamic range. Pretty bright. Pretty dark. How's that look? Okay. 
luckily we don't have to swim in that one, but we do have the sketchy ledge crossing out here. How's it going down there? I'm good to go, man. Are we, are we swimming down there? Later Canyon, see you next time. Thanks guys, thanks Let's for playing along. Show you the one. Boop. All right guys, I just wanted to cut in here at the end and give you my quick thoughts on this Tech Bean 4K $20 four star Amazon deal. First off, Tech Bean, I love the name. I mean, who doesn't want a Tech Bean? It's $20, so I wasn't expecting much. That being said, does it suck? Yeah, yeah, it does suck. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. Things to note about it, the 4K, there is no image stabilization in 4K. You have to shoot 1080 to be able to turn on the digital image stabilization, and that's something I didn't realize until I got back to the studio. I thought I had enabled this camera and set it up I must have turned the image stabilization on before I switched it over to 4K before I left. So I thought it was image stabilized while I was shooting 4K. It wasn't. It's super wide, so it's not you know as noticeable as shooting a zoom lens uh, not stabilized. That being said, the GoPro is much more stable than this thing. It looks better than this thing. I'm, I'm not even convinced it's 4K. I think it's just 1080 that scaled up in the camera to output as a 4K image. I'm not entirely sure on that, but the 4K image doesn't look incredible. So that's just an assumption that I'm getting by looking at this image. Is this worth it? You know, if you're not doing any kind of production and you just wanna have a fun throwaway action camera, this is it. I mean, you're, the image out of this thing isn't terrible. It's not terrible. I wouldn't use it in a production. The thing I might use this for is if I ever want to recreate like a VHS old footage that's really grainy, this is going to do that wonderfully. And it's, you know, cheap, 20 bucks, battery lasted a couple hours. So, I mean, I wasn't recording the entire time, but it did last, you know, the course of that trip. Other thoughts on that camera, I just, it's not awesome, but it's 20 bucks. And if you just want to have something to shoot video that you're not gonna worry about if you lose it or if it gets damaged, Tech Bean, it's okay. I'll link that down below in the description. I will also link the GoPro Hero 8, which of course is a really good camera. You know, it does still have its drawbacks because it is still just an action camera, but for the price, you know, it's kind of expensive, but you get a lot with it. You get a really good microphone built into it. You get some really killer stabilization. You can shoot 4K 60. In the Tech Bean, I had to go down to 1080 to shoot um, 60 frames per second. And then, you know, this shoots 240 frames per second, but at 480, so it looks like. Now about frame rates with this camera, it does shoot 25. You can't put it down to 24 frames per second. It does shoot 60 at 1080, 120 at 720, and 240 at, uh, what was that, 480. So, not awesome, the playback isn't awesome, it skips frames, it looks like it. But, if you just want something for fun, that's it. If you want something for production or to actually do really nice quality video with, go with the GoPro, it's worth it. That's my opinions on it. Let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Do me a favor, if you do like it, hit that thumbs up button down there. Hit that subscribe button while you're down there too. 
leave me a comment, and I will see you guys next time.